Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. This is my segment in Craft Around the Clock today. So I hope y'all can just come on in and uh, I'm anxious to spend some time with my friends. I'm gonna get the comments going down here and we'll get busy creating. If you're watching on replay, let me know you were here. Let me know if you're new so we can welcome you. Um, just about got it going. Um, if you catch the replay on YouTube, let me fix this a little bit. I look a little, I'm always a little wonky, but let's get you where you can see what I'm doing. We'll, we'll work on that. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Dawn and Vanetta and Vicky. Howdy, honey. <laughs> this is a little sneak preview of my next um, fairy season haul. I'll probably be doing it live at some point tomorrow, so y'all watch for that. And my ring is a little sneak preview of um, the accessories haul. I'll be doing two. They asked me to do two separate ones. Hey, Wanda and Sherry and Roxanne. Lori, happy Thursday. Hey, Jerry. Um, did I say that already? Um, <laughs> hey, Debbie. Hi, Becky. Y'all come on in. Hey, Susan. So, I'm going to do a little quick live with my fairy season accessories that I got this time. This is a little sneak preview and I'm going to do this a little bit later today, but y'all got to come see what I got. Um, okay, so let's get started. Now don't leave. Okay, don't leave. Oh, Cindy, I wanted to ask you, I was trying to grab the link to the group, Craft Around the Clock group, um, and I I'm so technologically challenged, especially with my phone, and I couldn't, hey, Jane, I couldn't get it to do the link. So, if you wouldn't mind putting the um, the link to the group, pin it in here, that would be great. Hey, Tracy, thank you for letting me do this today. I'm excited. I'm going to do some more tags, but y'all, they're going to be, we're going to do four. They're going to be springy. They make my heart happy, so I hope they'll do the same for y'all. I'm just watching all these sweet friends come in. Carol and Mary Teresa. Germaine. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Vicki. So, I was trying to think how I wanted to do these. These didn't go in the ones in the shop because it's a little different kind of um, material. <clears throat> but, um, I get to use them, so, and look what I've got, so y'all stick around. I've got two more of these little kits. <coughs> Excuse me, I got really excited. These you can find in our shop, our online shop, but these two are going out to two of you today, so, um, hey, Opa, hey, Connie, hey, Juanita and Debbie. Stardust sold crafting by mail. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Pop tart. Hey, Betty. Um, each one of these has two little spring napkins. It has a tag. It has a little piece of sari silk. It has a pixie dough casting that I've done. Um, hey, Pat. How are you doing? I put two in this one because they were small, and there's also hidden in here one of my little mini prints. So they're in the online shop, but these are going to be happy mail today. All right, let's get started. I got out my my Baptist hymnal, and uh, oh, thank you, Becky. And I chose some hymns. We're going to start with hymns. Y'all know I love to um, use these to create with and to paint on. Uh, yeah, I feel I almost feel guilty, Opa, because here today, I have all the windows open. It's sunny, the birds are chirping. We've got rain coming, so it'll get cold again, but it sure feels good today. I'm just enjoying it. Mr. T's doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Hey, Marsha. New, watching from Arkansas. Denise, welcome. I hope you'll enjoy what we do here enough to give us a follow. We'd appreciate that very much. I love to make new friends here. And uh, I love getting to be on Craft Around the Clock and get to make new friends there, too. 
sun and doors open here. Uh, yes, you're in Louisiana, Sarah. Yeah, we got the, I call these bonus days. You know, it's technically not spring here yet, even in Memphis. I'm just outside of Memphis. And um, so we know winter's going to get us yet again. That's the way it always does here. We'll think, oh, it's spring. But then, you know, we might get dumped with snow again. Some of our biggest snows have been at the 1st of March. Let me get my little tool. Where, where are you? Where are you, tool? My Mod Podge tool. Thank you, Denise. This is a, um, this is from Fairy Season. I have a brand new haul that I'm going to show y'all probably tomorrow live. But um, I already have the link and the code in my link tree. They've kept my code the same this time. Um, it's Lindy30, L-I-N-D-Y 30, and you'll get 30% off your entire order. And that's, I've got accessories I'm going to show y'all later today, too. I'm just going to use my little sander to, do I hear somebody? Creeping it up. He didn't scare me this time, y'all. Y'all are all afraid he's going to kill me. And, you know, me too sometimes. I startle easily. You want to say hello? They were asking how you were doing. Ornery as ever. Ornery? I, I thought you loved me. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you so much. Uh. He's wonderful. He's doing good. These are these are my craft around the clock buddies. Oh yeah. We're in craft around the clock now. Oh okay. Have to be done by four thirty. It's got to, to y'all keep me on my toes. Now last time I almost messed Betty, that up. I, I see you. <laughs> he cooked a good supper last night, y'all. Did you watch live? Were you there? He cooked hey, a good supper. That reminds me, we got to get those recipes posted too. Oh, that chicken was good, Iris, yes. It was delicious, and the dipping sauces he made were so good. I've got some orders I need to run to the post office. He's staying on these orders, y'all. He's up on them. And I'll be back in just a little bit. Be careful. The post office is literally, you know, you could walk to it, but... So it's not far. I'm not walking to it. I did it one time. I down, I'm not doing it again. I had to go across the railroad tracks. <laughs> that was back in the days when I was all about the exercise. I need to get all about that exercise again. All right. So we're going to start with one. I'm just going to show you. We're gonna, if, if I have time, because I think this is pretty simple, but we'll see. I always think that, and then it takes me longer. Look at the star of the show. Would you look at this little napkin? One of my sweet tater bugs sent this to me probably a year ago. I wanted the right project and today is it. There are four different little birds on this one napkin. She said she got it on Etsy. And so I am, I love birds. I love birds. We have tons of birds in our backyard. We feed them and we've got bluebirds, cardinals, morning doves. Okay, I'm not going to do this again this time, y'all. Um, robins, chickadees, wren, all the birds. But my bluebirds actually nest, and we've got houses for them in our backyard. And we make sure we keep mealworms out for them. Last year, we had three broods of, I called them my grand birds. And I got to watch them, and they're so much fun. Yeah, a um, couple of years ago, during a terrible snowstorm, we got a big snowstorm, and it was, we were covered up for like nine days. Oh, this is driving me nuts. And my little bluebirds were all huddled out there, tons of them. We were feeding them every day, and um, I watched one trying to fly up to get some they were huddled together in the birdhouses we had out there trying to stay warm and um he couldn't get any lift so i bundled up put on these big old boots 
we don't know how to do snow here in Tennessee very well, on, in West Tennessee. And I walked out there, and I thought if I would just walked out there gently, he'd fly, you know, he'd, and he just sat there. And so I had gloves on, and I just picked him up, and I held him in my hands, and I was going to put him up there so he could fly. He wasn't going anywhere. He stayed in my hands. I thought, well, now what do I do? So I tucked that baby in my gloves like this, and I came in here and just sat down and held him as long as he, I put him inside my jacket, and he just stood like that and tucked his little head. The picture showed up in my memories again the other day, and I still, I told Mr. T, I said, I still can't believe I got to do that. I can't believe I got to do it. The sad thing is we kept him inside. We had a bird cage and we kept him inside. I've put my mermaid brushes up or I would use one of those water brushes, but um, he did not make it through the night. Oh, I cried and I cried. I just wanted, I wanted to have saved him so bad, but at least, at least he got to feel warm again and, um, I took a picture, I did a selfie, holding that sweet little bluebird when he woke up, you know, I was holding him, I still can't believe it. I love, love, love my birds. So I'm just doing, I'm just um, running a little water with a paintbrush right around this little bluebird. So I'm starting with the bluebird. And let me just, I think, I want that music, of course, to be the background, these sweet hymns. And then we'll decide how we want to embellish them after we make them. But you can do this on, um, you know, something similar. If I had four small canvases, you could do a coaster set like this. Hey, Janice. Oh, it made me so happy, Penny, that I'll never forget that as long as I live. So that's what I was hoping that um, I chose one of my newer hymnals because I knew that the color of the paper was going to show through. I want the little um, music notes to kind of peek through like that. I think that's going to be so sweet. So let's put down a little more of this matte medium right where our bird's going to go. How many friends do I have? Oh, we've got 222 friends here. Thank y'all so much for taking time out of your day to come over and join me. I, I kind of I like when I'm just going to do a little bit like this matte medium, I just use my fingers. It just, I mean, they're right here. Why not? Hey, Maria, how are you doing? So many good friends. Oh, absolutely, Germaine. I need to share that um, that picture again for those of you. I've got a lot of new friends since then, and I'd love to share that picture again. I'm gonna go find that, share it later. Look how sweet that is. Now, I'm thinking probably, y'all start throwing out ideas of how we could embellish these, and I'll start, I'll keep creating to this point. Um, but isn't that just so pretty? Thank you for the hearts. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? Thank you, Peggy. Oh, I'm glad you like it. You like it, Jane? Chris shared it the other day. Oh, did he really? I didn't know that. Did he? Sh where did he share it, Cindy? Did he share it uh, to Sweet Tater Bugs or on his page? On his Facebook. Howdy, Debbie. Howdy, honey. It's one of my new fairy seasons. When I saw this on their site, I thought, well, I have to have that. I have to. All right, let's get another one started. Use this. Blue Distress Ink around the edges of the tag. Ooh, ooh. 
I'll see what my, uh, my blue ink looks like. I do have some colors. I got them from uh, Pop Shelf, and I've, I've really not used them yet, but might as well give them a try. I need more. I need more. This uh, material uh, really soaks up this gel medium. Y'all know me. I don't mind wrinkles, but I don't want just a ton of them on here. Let me work this out a little bit. Pixie mold across the bottom. Watercolored like your starfish. Ooh, Gwen. I don't have um I don't have any of the trimming molds cast yet, but that's a great idea. I could do that off camera to finish them out. That would be fun. And then just post a picture. I loved, if y'all missed that, uh, that was, was that Tuesday? Yeah, it was Tuesday that I did the uh, new Under the Sea Paint Pixie Kit. And oh, that was fun. I have already taken, you can see it's looking, no, there it is right there. I hadn't taken it in there yet. That is what I did with it and um, had so much fun with it. But we are getting ready for our February auction. It'll be this Sunday at 4 Central. And um, I had posted about some of the th pieces that you're going to see Sunday. So if any of y'all want to join us, that would be great. We'd love to have you there. Uh, we try to do one a month of the my creations, old and new. There are, there are some older ones that um, I've pulled out for this auction too. So auction time, Susan! Yay! That's right. All right. Now use this to just poke that hole where the, in the tag right there. Okay, now the next bird. <laughs> this one cracks me up with his little fuzzy hair. This one's pretty fuzzy too. So, uh, they're so adorable. Did I lose my comments? Are y'all still there? I missed the last auction, so I hope I can make this one. They're always fun. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Um, Cindy helps me with the auctions. And, uh, well, it takes a village. Mr. T and I both, you know, an auction's a pretty big undertaking, and he helps me tremendously, and we do them together, and which is so much fun. And uh, just have a good time. And Cindy keeps us right on track. And uh, you have two minutes to bid, and we we've we've not had a bad experience with any of our auctions, and I, I'm so thankful. It's because we got such sweet folks. Look at that cute bird! Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Okay, let's put a little bit. This down. So this, the clicking on my ring is what reminded me. Um, this is from my latest fairy season haul, like I was saying. And uh, I don't know, have y'all ever worn a spinner ring? I tend to have anxiety, always have. Hey, Robin. And um, when I got that, um, what am I trying to say? It was a snowflake ring a couple of years ago from Belle Lily. Maybe it was a year ago. Of course, I wore it through Christmas and even after a little bit. And it spins. And they really work. Hey, Carrie, you made it. Hello, hello. Hey, Gina. Um, I found I really like them. And that's what this one is. It's 
it's got a mountain range on the ring and then this is a heart that just spins you can spin it and inside the ring it says keep climbing and I loved that so that's one of the things you'll see in my live um, accessories haul later look at that funny little guy so here's what we have we have these two so far oh these are fun where could we get the napkins like that with the birds um, one of my sweet tater bugs found it found them on Etsy um, what was the where is it down here at the bottom it says Rendale W R E N D A L E designs. So you might check Amazon, you might check uh, Etsy for Rendale designs. Um, I'm do that side. Let's see, I'm more generous on those. Aren't they sweet, Pat? I just thought they were so cute. I was trying to decide what exactly I wanted to do today. And I saw that napkin and I knew immediately we had to play with those little birds. Here it, today is such a springy, pretty day. Oh, good Juanita. You need a spinner ring, Kim. Yes, I highly recommend them. They are fun. I, I have ended up with two or three of them now. And y'all, at fairy season, so inexpensive plus you get 30% off whatever you order thank you Betty yes Rendale designs um, they're so inexpensive you're not you know I do this all the all the time I, I usually most of the the jewelry that you see me in except for my wedding rings um, I don't like to spend a lot of money I don't want them to be expensive because I'm hard on jewelry you know so I don't mind. I know you get what you pay for. And if you pay $6.99 for a ring, it's not real. You know, you get that. But I don't care. I'll wear them. And mine have held up really well. They, you know, I hadn't had any of them turn or anything. But I'll show you everything I got when I go live. And goodness, they, they really treated me right this haul because we've got more than 10 shirts that I'm going to show you. Yeah, and I even got the greatest pair of shoes. I can't wait to show you those two. I have had great, great luck ordering shoes from them and that are true to size. Where's my little wipe wipe? I don't want to stick my arm down in that gel medium. Okay, we've got that ready to go. Now let's do this other cute little bird. Oh, thank you, Robin. I appreciate that. Soda pop ring cross. Oh, wonderful, Gwen. Uh, you got to send me pictures, okay? I want. I want to see. Um, yeah. In case you didn't know, uh, if y'all are new, we have these sets of little tags in our online shop. Uh, my husband cuts them out. Um, there's a. You, in the kit, you'll get five of them and the little washers that you can rust or you don't have to use. Um, but yeah, there's five in the set in our online shop. And I've had the best time creating with them. I had no idea I was going to enjoy them as much as I have. And I do. That's <laughs> so cute. That is just so cute. Hey, Caroline, how are you? Oh, <laughs> you, you don't mind hearing me talk? I'm telling you, I bet some of you are like, who is that hillbilly? Oh my goodness, but I can't help it. Was born in Mobile, Alabama and raised in Memphis, Tennessee, so there's no way around it. You know, once you put these down, they look painted on. I love that. They just blend right in to the uh, music and look like they're painted right onto the tag. Am I doing on time? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep on going. 
And there's Birdie. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let me do that hole. When will you get together with Lee again? You know, y'all, we have all gotten so busy that um, we don't get to get together much. And, you know, even chit-chat. Where you can... Um, Taterbuggin, Valerie. It's Taterbuggin. And you can go to taterbuggin.myshopify.com. You'll find all our stuff there, but these will be under um, unfinished wood kits. You would have no problem. <laughs> I was thinking, Vicki, you know, that back in the day, and I need to get back to it, I need to get back to painting my birds. I have a whole set of um, bird block prints that you'll find in my shop. There's a, a section called Woodblock Prints, and those are painted. Those were hand-painted by me onto um, hymnal pages, and um, I did those a few years ago before I was doing lives, and um, they are on thick little wood blocks, and um, there's a cardinal a hummingbird, a bluebird, a chickadee, a goldfinch. What am I forgetting? Was there any more than that? I have quite a few. So, y'all can check those out too if you're interested. They make a sweet little gift. Easter's coming up. Mother's Day. I need to, uh, I've got a lot of spring blocks. Thank you, Robin. That's so sweet of you to say. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Cindy. She posted the link. But, you know, you could take this idea. If y'all can find this napkin, I'll, I'll do a, a search for them for you after this or this evening. And if I find them, I will definitely post it on my page. But these were gifted to me by one of my sweet followers, and um, it's been probably a year ago. I was just, I don't know, things like this that are just so precious, I tend to hold on to until I just know exactly what I want to do with them. And today, I just knew this is what I wanted to do, so here we are. Do you, Diane? Thank you so much. Um, I love to paint. Y'all know that. Vicki, they are, they are, excuse me, under woodblock prints in that section. You looked and didn't see that one. You, uh, the napkin, Iris? You couldn't find it? You do that too, Gwen? You mean wait until you hold it, until you get just the right? Yeah, I've got Things that I've found at Goodwill that I really, really love. And it's just, they're just sitting there waiting until I know exactly what I want to do with them. And when it comes to mind, I usually know it. Yep, that's what I want to do. So, I had that uh, train case for years. And I just finished it last weekend. And I love it. It's exactly, it's exactly what I had hoped it would look like. Using that um, IOD, those IOD transfers from Boho Bevy Boutique. On Etsy type. Rendell Garden Birds. There you go. Betty, did you find them? Hey, Karen. Good afternoon. How are you doing? We're on our last little bird of the set. Ah. Uh, Sweet, 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 sweet. Rendell Gardenberg cocktail napkin on Etsy. Yay! Oh, I hope they're out there. I might need to get get a whole set, and I could do those for Happy Mail. They could tuck in with the little tag happy mail kits. How about that? If I find them, that's what I'll do. Do 
Do you know how much shipping and handling would be on the kit from Paint Pick? I don't, Janice. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I really don't have anything to do with that. I'm just a, uh, an affiliate, and I don't know. I'm so sorry. But if you uh, go to their site, put it in your cart, and go to check out, you'll get that figure before you check, before you have to pay. You'll find out. Oh, Karen, I'm so glad you're feeling better. Bronchitis is no joke. No joke at all. All right, if we have, we got 15 minutes. I'm going to see if I can find, I'm going to get a little bit. I got to think where I put my colorful ink pads. Do I want to do that or should, okay, let me ask y'all this. Do we want to wait till I have the trimmings mold to put the top and the bottom and just paint them in soft watercolor paints? Look at these. Let me see if I can hold all four. The music pages, Julie, I have collected um, hymnals for years. And so they're just, they're actual hymnal pages. Um, so that I, I've always loved to create with hymnal pages. I paint on them. Well, let me see if I can get this together in my hands and I'll hold all four up. Look how cute, 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 cute all these birds. Oh, I love them so much. I'm thinking jute hangers. What do y'all think? Because, you know, to look kind of like a little nest. The other thing is, you can even add watercolor wash in the background. Oh, I love that. The bluebird's still my favorite too, Diana. I know. I love a little wren. We have a lot of little wrens around here. They're crazy little guys. They flit around. They'll come flying in and hang on to the side of the, um, the brick. One got, and when this was a screened-in porch, we don't know how he did it. He got in our screened porch. I got up the next, and either small ribbons or flowers to match the birds. That's a cute idea. Um, he got in our screened porch, which was this room, and I had plants out here. I had dirt fluffed everywhere. They'll get in your plants, you know, and foof the dirt out. <laughs> They're just busy. <laughs> I'm so glad y'all love these. I do too. They're so fun. Let's let me grab my. Um, little thing of jute off my, off my cart. Let's do some hangers. Twigs or branch. Oh, I like that too. I was thinking about my friend Lisa Ahmad, and I bet you what she would do is put some Spanish moss. She says moss daily. You know, that's what she says. Um, definitely, Roxy, I hope you will. Pixie dough leaves. Now, wait. Hold on. Let me put this in here first. Um, so, some Spanish moss might be a good idea. At the bottom. Wait, I did that backwards. It's going to go this way. See a cardinal? Think my love. Yes, Caroline. Um, I have a lot of cardinal painting woodblock prints. They are all my original, from my original. They're all in my shop. Um, people love cardinals for that very reason. And we have a cardinal couple here. You know, they mate for life. And to watch them together is so much fun. Uh, if one comes and flies to this bird feeder, it's on a shepherd's hook. And they'll sit on the top and they'll call to the other one and I'll watch through the trees till the other one comes. The male will even flick birdseed onto the ground for his wife, which I think is so sweet. I know, Jerry, lots of great options. You didn't find it? Oh, I gotta see if I can find it. I like, I like the jute hanger, I do. Um, Yeah, I, this might be one of those things I need to stare at them for a little while before I'm absolutely certain how I want to finish them out because y'all have given me so many great ideas. Let me pull Let me pull a couple of things from the bag of tricks down here. This is that photo holder case that I got. I love it. 
I have so enjoyed this. I got this one at Michael's. I got the other one at Hobby Lobby. So, like, this is a little pixie uh, dough mold casting, little leaves. That would be cute to add. Um, I've got, I'll shut it again. There's another little leaf that could go on another one with a stick. Ooh, that's going to be fun. That really gives it a 3D effect. Let's see, do I have another one ready to, to go? I'll have to do some, some more castings. There's a bigger leaf. I can put that. I don't want to overpower it. That's kind of big. That's a ginkgo leaf. That's another pixie dough mold casting. That might be fun. Oh, Patty, good. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy them. I could put a little, add a little flower. That's cute. But I definitely would like to get some um, sticks out of the front yard. I got this, y'all may have seen, I got the little crown mold from Team U. Um, oh, Cindy, you found it. Thank you, Janice, for those stars. I appreciate that so much. I could paint this and put that on one, a little bird's head. <laughs> They're kind of big for that. But you could use a totally dazzled. Sure could. There's a little ginkgo leaf. So, yeah, these will be fun to play with. And when I, I also have, um, these are from Hobby Lobby and the paper section. That's a pretty little paper fly. We also have falcons, y'all. I think that was one of our falcons. And it's a whole family of them. Oh, now look. You know, that with a little leaf down at the bottom might be cute. Or could put it up at the top. These are so fun to embellish and to play with. A surprise for me. Oh, Liz, really? You're so sweet. This, doesn't this just get you in the springtime mood? Freehand a stick with the pixie dough. Great idea. That is a great idea. I think that I really love the 3D effect. You know, we could put a little... These flowers on this one are kind of this color. I don't know. We'll... Oh, thank you, Jean. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for the hearts. I appreciate it. They're just, it's sweet. It does, it really does make me happy. It feels springy. And I do think we're going to go with a 3D effect of some sort. Probably some pixie dough. Um, maybe a little flower. Oh, look at this sweet little flower. That's pretty. Just a little bit of that. Oh, that looks sweet. Some yellow with it right there in the center. You do, Darlene. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's that's so much fun. You know, just embellishing is so much fun. <laughs> These make me happy. You could put some little buttons on there. Oh, I think that would be sweet. You could edge it with, um, you know, distress ink around the edges to give it kind of a frame. And then have it pop. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Do I get, am I going to get a... I gotta get it all. Let me add the. Let me not get ahead of myself. Let me add the hangers and then we'll hold them up. I'll take pictures of them, of course, to post, but. Go this way, this way, from the front to back. I'm glad y'all like them. I'm so glad. Use a branch, yeah. I, I do love the 3D effect. I really do. I think that would be, that would really set it off. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. And maybe, you know, a couple of the branches have them go off the edge of the um, tag. That would be cute. A bead on the hanger. Definitely could do that. I thought I had some on the table. Do I? 
Let's put a bead on the next hanger and see what it's like. I got this in my mystery uh, box from Teresa from Jeremiah Dreams. When I was in that event last Sunday. Let's try one of these on here. Might need my thinner jute. We'll see. Yeah, y'all come back. I'll post it in Craft Around the Clock, uh, the picture of it when it's finished. I'll, then when they're when they're all finished up, because um, sometimes you can't quite do all the finishing touches in 45 minutes. I wasn't I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and I I really love taking it. What I usually do with a project is I'll plan it out. To a certain extent and then I let y'all finish them give me your ideas because y'all have such great ideas let's see if uh, this is so fat I don't know if I can get it through that little bead I know I can't get two of them I would have to I would have to use um, my smaller uh, thinner jute. Let's try that. Is it right down here? I think I just used it the other day. Where'd you put it, Wendy? It's not the, that's the fat kind. Oh me. Oh me. Oh, I hope so, Susan. Thank you. Thank you. You think so, Iris? That's a little bit thinner. That's a little different. Yeah, I save all kinds of little bits of string and stuff. But I just had that thinner jute the other day. <laughs> I've got two rolly carts now. I'm out of control. And sometimes I'll clean up and reorganize thinking it's going to be so much better. And then I forget where I put it. Anyway, sorry, y'all. We got three minutes. <laughs> we got three minutes. And I'll just make it just like the others. So, um, I appreciate y'all joining me today. Um, if you're in the uh, Craft Around the Clock group, all you have to do is refresh your page. I'm sure you know that by now. Um... To see the next creator and I'm gonna put this in here real quick so we might can oh happy mail thank you Cindy okay Cindy would you scroll and choose two names Cindy's gonna call out two names if she calls your name send me private message me your shipping address and we will get your um, little happy mail out to you tomorrow mr. T will get that right out to you yeah y'all be watching. I'm going to try to go on and get these finished as soon as possible so we can post them. So we'll see. Hi, Sherry. Oh, you did. All our Tuesday mornings are going to close. Oh, I'm so sad. I need to get over there before they close. Thank you, Isabella. I appreciate that so much. So, so much. Oh, Pat, thank you, my sweet friend. I love you. You're so talented. And I know there's a lag, so I'm just waiting to see who Cindy chooses, and I'll call out the names. One minute. One minute. I gotta go. Uh, Cheryl, I'm gonna, I will post when we find out. I think Cindy found them. Oh, these tags are actually, these kits are in our online shop, or you can just buy a set of five tags. Congratulations, Debbie Catalano and Teresa Cox. Debbie and Teresa, PM me your shipping address. We'll get your, your happy mail out tomorrow. Thank you so much, everybody, and I will see y'all when I see you soon, okay? Bye.